Hello everybody and welcome to another vlog. It's currently about half past two. Um, the weather is absolutely as grey and as dull as it can get, but it's ideal for the uh, type of conditions I'm looking for today. I'm going to head over to a place called Birkenhead and fire across to Liverpool. Now, Birkenhead is situated just on the other side of the Mersey and uh, it, it looks into uh, Liverpool, some of the skyline of Liverpool. So I'm going to look at doing a, a pano shot across the whole of the Mersey, incorporating all of Liverpool. A bit of a nighttime cityscape shot. I've done this shot before, uh, a few years ago when I first started to uh, to understand how to stitch images together and there was a bit of an issue with that image. One of the images um, just didn't stitch well with the cloud, there's a, a little bit of a uh, join issue which you could see on the image. So I'm looking to improve that today um, and see what I can get. I was hoping for high tide because what I wanted was a bit of a reflection in the water but the high tide's not until it's gone 11 o'clock tonight. So when we're going to be shooting it's going to be, um, it's actually going to be low tide. But I'm going to try and zoom in onto the city and just try and get the whole, incorporate the whole of the city in this uh, in this panorama shot. So that's the uh, that's the plan of today. We'll also see what else we can get uh, around the Birkenhead um, area. So yeah, come and join me. Um, we'll head off now and um, yeah, see what we can get. And uh, hopefully, we'll uh, we'll make this one work. Right, let's go. Well, I've just arrived at the location now. Um, it seems to be quite a bit of dramatic skies above us. On the way in, there's been rainbows. Uh, the sun's just been lighting up the, uh, the docks over in Liverpool as well. So it looks like we could be in for quite uh, a bit of a dramatic, uh, I don't know if we'll get a sunset, but certainly some color in the sky if, the way, if it keeps the way it is. Now, the weather forecast, it's meant to be raining this afternoon, um, certainly from five o'clock. Um, whether the weather will, weather will escape that, I don't know. Weather, weather, weather will escape that, I don't know. So I'm just going to head over towards where the lighthouse is and get a few shots from there. Um, there's going to be nothing, uh, nothing amazing because the uh, the tide's out, so there's going to be no long exposure on here. But I've seen a few images where the light's been on on the uh, on the lighthouse. Now I, I've never seen that here, so hopefully I'll be able to get uh, get a couple of shots of that uh, later on today. Right, we'll uh, head down to the location now and see what we can get. Just done uh, a few shots just at the lighthouse there. The sky really lit up before and I was hoping for a little bit more colour but uh, that seems to have gone away. Not to worry, that's not what I'm here for. What I'm going to be doing in a moment is heading further around the back of the fort which is just behind us now. I'm going to get a few shots just at the Liverpool city centre um, and see what I can get but I'm, I need it to go a little bit darker so once all the city lights come on that's normally the best, uh, best type of shot. So I'm going to head around there in a little bit and, uh, and see what we can get. 
So what I'm gonna do now is just head around the other side of the fort, um, just in the distance there, and take some shots of the uh, city center, or suddenly get prepped. It's gonna be the, uh, the nighttime um, shot is what I'm looking for, suddenly from this location. So yeah, but it's a, it's a lovely little evening to be out. I thought it was gonna be a lot wetter and a lot colder. It certainly isn't, so, uh, but yeah, we'll uh, do a bit more photography around here and then we'll, uh, we'll head off. <laughs> One thing this place is good for as well is leading lines. There's plenty to be had. There's loads of war brakes, um, sorry, tide brakes, uh, wave brakes, whatever you want to call them. Um, and suddenly lines leading onto, uh, onto two images. So this one that's behind me currently that leads onto the lighthouse um, is a perfect example of one of the, uh, the amazing leading lines into here. So yeah, photography around here is a good place to, uh, to certainly practice. Certainly if you want to get something, um, yeah, a little bit mysterious. Once the, uh, the tide comes in, the tide comes in well, well after where I'm stood now. So I'd actually be soaking wet if I was uh, studying the tide was, uh, tide was in. Um, but it's always good when the tide is coming in to get uh, this um, sort of path. There's a lot of tarmac that's sort of been blended in to obviously stop the uh, rocks from moving around with the high tide. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit of a permanent fixture <laughs> by the looks of it. Um, but yeah, always a good, uh, good image to get um, here. Um, long exposure as, as much as you like and then further on further in the distance there there's all like hexagonal um, uniform style um, water breaks if you like and uh, what they do as well they real ethereal sort of image when the uh, when the tide comes in and it's, it's certainly when it's rough if you can get down there just be careful uh, but if you can get down there and take an image right out towards sea it really does add for uh, for quite a nice little image actually I've seen quite a few people that have taken that uh, that shot Getting a few images around this location more than I thought I would actually. The sky is uh, starting to open up a little bit. Um, yeah, it won't be long now till it gets starts to get dark. Uh, I keep saying that I'm going to head around the fort. I will. I just keep getting uh, sidetracked. I think this is uh, the problem with around here. There's that much to be had. Um, yeah, you've got so much industrial um, to, the, to the left of me now, um, over in the docks or the Docklands over in Liverpool. And behind you've got the sunset, which is quite dramatic with this uh, with this sky as well. And then we've got the whole new Brighton with the fort and then walking around towards Liverpool city centre. So yeah, there's a lot to be had in this location. And uh, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Right, I'm gonna take a few more images here. Uh, see what I've got. If they're any good, I'll, uh, I'll post them up. Like I said, I've been here a number of times before. It's not far away from where I live. So um, yeah, getting here is quite, uh, quite simple for me. Um, uh, but it's a good place to practice, certainly. Right, crack on.
So the problem now is it's starting to get dark and vlogging in the dark is never a good idea. Um, this, it just gets a little bit too grainy and the quality goes. So I'd rather say goodbye now whilst we've got the opportunity. I'm going to show you a few images of what I've managed to get. Obviously so you show you some b-roll if you can get any as well from around the, uh, from around the walk and uh, looking over to the city. Um, so yeah, if I don't see you again, um, I'll see you on another vlog. Um, apologies for this being quite short, but yeah, by the time I've managed to get out and, and get to the location as well, the uh, yeah, the uh, the light has just completely dropped. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing. Um, that really does mean a lot. And give me the old thumbs up and just say hello. Um, yeah, just just let me know you're watching. Uh, will be great. So um, from New Brighton near Birkenhead, overlooking the uh, the magnificent Liverpool uh, seafront, I'll um, I'll say bye bye and uh, yeah, see you again soon. Bye now. So this is the reason I went to uh, Birkenhead, is to take this image. Now unfortunately, as soon as I set up the camera, I put the 70-200mm lens on. As you can probably tell by the rest of the vlog, the wind was quite high that day. That mixed with uh, a sudden burst of rain as soon as the lens was on the front of the camera. Um, so when I started shooting across the water at 200mm, um, any slight movement in the, uh, in the camera made it move, uh, and I just couldn't get a clear shot. So this is the final image that I could possibly get. This is the best out of a, out of a bad bunch. And it just shows that, uh, yeah, it just needs a little bit of perseverance. I was set, dead set on trying to get this image. And it just hasn't turned out the way I wanted it to. As you can tell by the lights in the image, there's a lot of streaking. And that's just purely where I've wiped water off the front of the lens. Nothing was drying properly. As soon as I uh, took the image, I had to re-wipe the lens. Uh, yeah, just a, just a comedy of errors, really. But uh, it just shows that you just need to... Uh, to keep going and, uh, and get out there so uh, yeah it's another excuse to head off to that location and try and take a, another image but um, anyway this is it I'll just, I thought I'd show it anyway um, yeah I'm a little bit disappointed with it but uh, yeah like I say it's a good excuse to, uh, to get out there and, and take some more